Growing fears of a nuclear disaster after Europe's largest nuclear plant was hit by shelling. The finger pointing and frustrations are intensifying as each side blames the other for the strikes. ABC's Britt Clinton reports from Ukraine tonight. Tonight, new reports of shelling hitting the nuclear power plant in Zaporizhia, sparking renewed fears of a radiation emergency. Ukraine telling the UN's nuclear watchdog that over the past three days, shelling hit two so-called special buildings located dangerously close to the plant's reactors. Video posted online showing the aftermath of strikes in Enerhada. Both sides are blaming each other for the attack. Residents nearby terrified. All these people have come from a 50 mile radius just to get their hands on iodine anti radiation medication in case things go bad. Doctors here telling me there's high demand for the pills in this area. We received a few thousand of those pills, and within a week, we had almost none. So, what kind of announcement will there be, and how will you communicate with people? There will be a special siren different from our air raid sirens. They will receive proper information on what to do, when to do, evacuation procedures, iodine pills, everything. And we met Yulia Netrobailo, waiting in line for those pills. Are you worried? I'm worried and scared, Yulia says, adding she has a child and her husband is away fighting in the war. The fighting raging on. The State Department now confirming another U.S. citizen has been killed while fighting for the Ukrainians. That American has not been identified. And tonight, President Zelensky suggesting Ukraine is about to step up its counteroffensive, saying the Russians will feel its consequences. This evacuation center in Zaporizhia is about 35 miles from that plant. And Lindsay, we are speaking to so many people who are physically and emotionally drained, exhausted, traumatized, and who desperately needed to escape because of the intense fighting there and, of course, the nuclear threat. It's now looking like UN inspectors may visit the plant in a matter of days. But for the evacuees here, that inspection can't come soon enough. Lindsay? A lot of anxiety, Britt. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.